Even though the Bud Light controversy where they, you know, used transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney uh, in a promotional effort, even though that's pretty much died down, Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, failing Republican presidential candidate is not going to let a good Republican talking point die that easily. So during an appearance on Jesse Waters primetime show on this uh, uh, last Wednesday, Ron DeSantis tried to revive this whole controversy by saying that the state of Florida is currently conducting an inquiry into Anheuser-Busch, the parent company of Bud Light. And we may, this state end up suing them for hiring Dylan Mulvaney in that promotional stunt. I don't even know if they actually hired Dylan Mulvaney or if they just put her face on a couple beer cans and said, Hey, just go promote this. Right. But Ron DeSantis is threatening to sue Anheuser-Busch for doing this for allegedly, of course, going woke. But DeSantis has a bit of a problem, right? You can't just file a lawsuit because you think a company is woke. You got to have some kind of injury to show that the wokeness hurts you. And aside from Ron DeSantis's feelings being hurt, there really is no injury there. So DeSantis has cooked up his own kind of injury, I guess you would call it in order to justify his investigation and potential lawsuit against Bud Light. So here's what's happening. The state of Florida has a state run pension fund for state employees of which Ron DeSantis and a lot of his political appointees actually sit on the board that decide where the money gets invested. And they had decided long ago, they were going to invest some of the state's pension fund money into Anheuser-Busch. And when Anheuser-Busch launched this promotion, of course there was Republican backlash. So their stock dipped down a little bit. It wasn't even the biggest stock drop that Anheuser-Busch has seen in the last two years. But Ron DeSantis is claiming that because you did this promotion, because you were embracing a social ideology, your stock went down. Our pensioners suffered. We're going to sue you for breach of fiduciary duty. That's not how that works by the way. And Ron DeSantis as a lawyer by trade, knows that you can't sue a company for making a decision that ended up being a bad decision and resulted in the stock going down. Because again, it wasn't even a hugely significant drop for Anheuser-Busch. The numbers are ridiculous. It dropped from $66 per share to $58 per share. But back in September of 2022, the stock was all the way down to $44 per share. So depending on when you bought in, you know, it, it still seems like the state pensioners are way ahead on that stock. So we didn't actually lose money. We didn't lose the original investment. We lost money that would have already been made off of the investment, but we're still $14 per share ahead of it. <laughs> so what's the injury there? As I said, fiduciary duty is a big thing with companies, corporations, you have to act in the best interest of your shareholders. However, because you cannot predict what is always going to be in the best interest of your shareholders, fiduciary duty kind of becomes this fluid concept. Can you do something that you think might benefit the company, but ultimately backfire? Sure. Can you be sued for that? No. Unless you had hard data showing that you knew this was going to tank your company's stock, but you did it anyway, then you may have a lawsuit. You may have a lawsuit, but none of that evidence exists. And Ron DeSantis knows it. So why is he even suggesting this? Because Ron DeSantis has to suggest this. Ron DeSantis's presidential campaign is failing so hard that reports say he's now going to go through a bit of a reboot you know, DeSantis 2.0, it's going to be the same crap, just in a different label, I guess. But the only thing DeSantis knows how to talk about is woke, the woke, woke, wokeity woke. Oh, everything's woke. I hate woke. Woke is bad. We're going to sue woke. We're going to take woke down. Woke comes to Florida to die. So that's why he's reviving this controversy that most Republicans had probably already forgot about. Like, oh yeah, the Bud Light thing. I forgot about that. I'm not supposed to be drinking it, but I am anyway. That's how lame this dude is. And he's threatening to sue a company in what would be the most 
quickly dismissed lawsuit I think I've ever seen. But that's all he's got. This man is grasping at straws. He's trying to save his failing presidential campaign. And if he has to get his ass embarrassed in court to do it, then by God, he's going to do it. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.